Hello everyone, my name's LazyJet, welcome back to another video on this channel. So, what's been going on? For those of you who did tune in to my previous live streams, you guys are aware that I haven't actually been feeling very well for the past week and a half. But now that I'm feeling better, we are ready to rock. Today, we are back on Train Simulator 2021, and I have heard that Train Simulator 2022 will be coming out very soon, so I'm actually looking forward to that. So yes, you join me on Train Simulator, but today we are going to do something that I think a lot of you have been asking for many years to start making some uh, strength challenges or strength competitions and see which one is the strongest uh, locomotive that we've got. And because you have been so patient and you guys are amazing, I decided to actually make your wish come true. We're starting a new Train Simulator series where we're going to be doing strength challenges rather than just races because races are beginning to get a bit predictable and a bit boring lately. So I thought we need to up our game. <laughs> game. Get it? Because I'm actually playing a simulator. It's, it's a little joke. So what do I have in mind for a strength competition? Well, for our very first proper strength competition. I think we should start off something small. And what I mean by small, I mean tank engines. Everyone loves tank engines. Everyone I know, everyone I speak to, everyone loves tank engines. Tank engines are like... Well, I don't know what it's like, but let's just say that without tank engines, uh, trains wouldn't run uh, efficiently. So, we've got to love tank engines. But we haven't got just tank engines. No! What's behind the tank engines? We have got milk trucks! That's a lot of milk. We have got 41 milk trucks. That's pretty insane. I mean, look at this. They're, they're all fresh from the factory, mind you. Other milk factories are available. So what tank engines have we got for today's race? We have got a Terrier, a Panya, a Small Prairie, a 3F Ginty. We have this, which I think is a J50, I, I, I think. I'm, I'm not an expert on this particular locomotive. And my personal favourite, the 14XX. But we've got a good selection of tank engines, and we're going to find out which tank engine here is the strongest. This is the exact same route as my other races, so we've got to get from point A to point B. It's, it's, it's that simple. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. It's just a click of a button. So I'm really excited to actually program these trains and see which one is the fastest. Now this might take a little bit of a while of programming. But I think because we've got a lot of milk trucks, I think we should program every single tank engine to do 200% power. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, really, uh, really excited. I don't know what I'm clapping for. That's like a little happy celebrational clap. I feel like a child right now. Um, yes, let's program these tank engines to do 200% power and see which one is going to win. That is what we shall do. <laughs> So, as always, we've got to go to the world editor. Now, fingers crossed that my game won't crash because, um... Because I've got so many DLCs added on this racetrack, well, on this route. Um, at the micro game has actually crashed five times in order to actually set this all up. So, the fact that it's still running at the moment, uh, especially when I'm recording, I'm, I'm forever grateful. So, let's line them up so they're all perfect. So, we, got, we don't want any cheating here, do we? Um, move them a little bit forward so we've got a bit of like more buffer space. Um, they're not going to be like precisely perfect but you know I'll do the best I can do hopefully the game won't crash um, again it's not perfectly lined up but it will do it will do so let's have a look then so engine number two is on platform one and we're going to put you on platform one is that gonna work oh no it doesn't want to apparently we have a problem the 14xx doesn't like that Hmm, there's nothing in the way of the track. The tracks are all clear. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Some of the trucks came off. Let's see if we try and fix that. There we go, big fella. Let's try that again. Maybe, maybe that was the, a, little, uh, a little bug problem. I'm not sure. But let's have a look. Um, so, engine number two, which is the 14XX. Let's put you on platform number one. Yes, it's worked. That, we fixed the problem, thank God. And we'll give you 200% power. Bosh. I'm, I'm pretty terrified, actually. Okay, programming done. I'm really excited. So, which one do you think is going to win, my friends? Which steam engine, or which tank engine, sorry. Which tank engine is going to be the strongest? Is it going to be the Terrier? 
the Panya, the small Prairie, the 3 f Jinty, the J, I think it's a J50 or a 50J, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with this engine at all. Or my personal favourite, the 14XX. Now, me personally, I really want the 14XX to win, but I don't... I, I don't think it will because it's, it's it's not the fastest or the strongest tank engine, but you know we'll have to see. I mean, to be honest, the Terrier, I think this one might come in last place because of how small it is. But although big things do come in small packages, as they say, so the Terrier uh, was it the Terrier? Yeah, the Terrier could surprise us all. Oh, what a beauty! I mean, just look at look how long these trucks are. I mean, this this is pretty insane. I mean, this is a uh, for our very first strength competition. This is uh this is gonna be um this is gonna be interesting. So I've ordered some milk. Um although this is quite a lot of milk. The first train to actually deliver their milk uh is the winner. Milk. Such a silly word. Although I do fancy a strawberry milkshake. Uh other milkshakes are available. There's chocolate, there's vanilla, banana. I don't like banana. Ugh. So I'm gonna be driving the Superclass 47, as always, and we're gonna see which tank engine is gonna be the strongest. So which one do you think is gonna be the strongest? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. Do it now, pause the video. Who do you think is gonna win, my friends? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Just, I'll just wait a few seconds and then we'll get started. Right, so let's click play. Are you sure you want to save this? Oh, yes, please. Um, I don't want the game to crash like a million more times. And away they go. Look at this. This is probably the slowest start in ever train simulator history. Uh, oh, oh, I've just noticed something. Two of the tank engine's wheels aren't moving. <laughs> That's a bit of a bug. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Where's the 14X at? Oh, the 14XX is falling behind a bit. But their wheels aren't moving. <laughs> That's a bit of a bug, isn't it? But the Terrier has fallen behind quite a lot, but the 14XX, you know, it's not doing so well. Oh, I need to get the Superclass 47. I mean, it's quite loud. I might turn the game volume down a bit, because the, the sound of the steam engines, it is, it is quite loud in the game. My headset is getting quite blasted right now. So, I'm going to really release the brakes, give ourselves a bit of power. I mean, this might be the slowest race we've ever done, but it's a strength competition. Who's going to deliver their milk first? That sounds weird. This is amazing, look at this! The, uh, the, I think it's the Small Prairie and the Jinty are sort of nearly neck and neck, but I think the Small Prairie is... It's got a slight little lead. But at the very front, uh, it's quite close between, I think it's the 50J or the J50. I, I don't know what I don't know what it's called. But its wheels aren't moving. I'm a bit, like, freaked out of how... It's like a ghost train, how the wheels aren't moving. Um, but the Panya's doing quite well. Look at that. I mean, that's starting to pick up a bit of speed with 41 milk trucks. I mean, look at that. But the 14XX and... It's kind of like Oliver and Stepney, isn't it? Well, they're, they're based off the same engine. But they're not doing very well, are they? I mean, the, the Terrier is doing very appalling. It's not, that's not good. So what's our speed now? We are doing 42.6 miles per hour, which is actually not that bad. It's still unbelievably close between the um, small prairie and the Jinty, the 3F Jinty. I mean, that's, that's that's actually incredible. Right, let's have a look at our speed. 55.4 miles per hour, and it's still neck and neck. I mean, if I actually go off on ahead, let's have a little look. Yeah, it's, I, th I think it might be neck and neck. Oh, no. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's quite close between these two at the moment. But remember, it's the first train to stop. That's um, that's that's the rules of um of these races. I mean, look at that. Now this is a strength competition. I'm just I'm so, I'm just so weirded out how the wheels aren't moving. So, that must be a bug or something. But whatever bug that is, it's actually quite funny. But let's have a look at the Jinty and the Small Prairie. Oh, the Small Prairie has actually got a bit of lead now. Oh yeah, and I've, I've also forgotten that the um, and the Jinty's wheels aren't moving as well. That's so weird. Why has that happened? I don't. I don't actually know. Um, where's the 14 exit? Oh, there it is. It's not. Oh, it sounds like it's burst its safety valve, hasn't it? That's not good. Oh my God, the small prairie's picking up a bit of speed now. It's overtaken uh, the uh, the Jinty quite by much, actually. This is incredible. I mean, look at this. They're all starting to. Spread out a bit now. Oh my god, look at the, uh, the Panya. The Panya's all the way up ahead as well. That's got some serious speed. <laughs> oh my god, the Small Prairie's doing 80 miles per hour with 41 milk trucks. What about the Panya? What's the, how's the, is the Panya moving the further away from me? I need to catch up to the, to the, uh, Panya. Well, how's, where's Panya going? Wait for me. 
Right, let's apply the brakes just a little bit. Ooh, there we go. How fast are you doing, my friend? You're doing... Oh. That was a bit of a weird sound. I believe the Panya, I think that's what it's called, is doing over 80... Oh, I'm trying to get into... Like, 82 miles per hour. That's... That's some serious speed for a tank engine point in 41 milk truck. I mean, look at the speed of this thing. No. Oh, my God. That is amazing. It's like troublesome trucks, isn't it? What about the other trains? Let's have a look. Uh, it's the small prairie. That's in second place. What about third place? Uh, who's fighting for third place? Oh, it's quite close between the Jinty and the J50. Although, these are the two trains that have their wheels locked up. That's not good. And I think they're losing steam power as well, which is not good. But where's the 14XX? Oh, there's the 14XX far behind. But I don't know where. I can't see the... Oh, there it is. Oh, the, the Terry is very far behind. But the Panya's slowing down. We were doing 80 miles per hour, but now it's it's lost steam. And now we're only doing about 65 miles per hour. Where, where are the other trains? Are, they, are, are the others catching up? Oh, the small prairie is, is, is catching up. You know, I'm actually glad I'm doing strength challenges because... I mean, yes, I mean, I've been doing lots of races, but they're beginning a bit boring. We need we need some more fun, don't we? So it's more cooler to have a, a strength challenge. And I think the small pro is catching up quite a lot now. I mean, it was in sync with the Jinty for quite some time, but now it's in second place. I mean, could it be in first place? We don't know. I mean, she is catching up. Oh, hello. But the 14XX sounds like it's burst its safety valve, but that thing is loud and it is coming up and it is fast. From second to last, and I think it's going to overtake these guys. Now that's what I'm talking about. See, that's the thing about these races. Like, when you're doing a strength challenge, they start to lose speed and strength because, you know, they're losing steam power, aren't they? We need, um, this is why we're doing these strength challenges. This, this, this is more interesting. Like, which one's more, which one runs more efficient? That's the thinking. That's the smart thinking, Mr. Oliver. Not a bad idea. So the Panya is in the lead, followed by... I can't see it. Uh, is it behind me? Yep, the Small Prairie is still catching up. Uh, that's in second place. What's Who's in third place? Uh, oh, hello. I believe the 14XX is in third place. And it is very loud. Yes, she is in, uh, she's in third place. Followed by the J50. And then... I forgot what place this is in now, fifth. I don't know. Uh, it's the 3F Jinty. But where is the Terrier? The Terrier is far, far behind. Look at that. That's a no-go, that is. And I'll tell you what, the Panya has lost a lot of speed. It was doing about 82 miles per hour, but now it's only doing 42 miles per hour. That's, uh, that's no good. And I believe the Small Prairie is actually catching up, I think. Yes, I think, I think she's catching up. So let's have a look. God, look at all these like trucks and trains like spread out across the map. We've got the Panya, Small Prairie, Terrier, 14 XX, and I believe that's the J50 and the uh, 3F Jinty. They all, they all sound quite similar, don't they? Like with all these names, it's hard to catch up. Oh, who's gonna stop first? Is it the Panya? I think it is. It is close between the Panya tank engine and the Small Prairie. Who's it gonna be? Oh, oh. Are you going to stop? Stop. It's still rolling. And it stopped. Hooray. In first place is the Panya Tank Engine. I think that's what it's called. Keep, how embarrassing would it be if I've been saying it's class name the, uh, wrong the whole time in the video? That'd be embarrassing. And in second place is the Small Prairie Tank Engine. Look at that. It's nice. It's, you know, it, may, it may be a slow finish, but hey, at least it's the gentle finish. Because, you know, they're, they're pulling some very special cargo here. You know, we don't want to shake the milks too much. Otherwise, they'll, uh, they'll turn to butter. I mean, I've seen Thomas and friends. She may not come in first place or second place, but third place, I'm still happy about it. Because the 14XX is my most favourite tank engine in the world. And in the top three, I'm just glad it made the cut. And stop. There you go. Apply your brakes. Just let it roll. And stop. There you go. Beautiful. Perfect. That was probably like the most gentle stop it ever did. Oh my god, they are going so slow, aren't they? Who's going to come in fourth place and who is going to come in second to last, which is fifth place? God, this is so slow. Look at those wheels. It looks so ridiculous when they're not, like, when they're moving without its wheels actually turning. That's... That's... That's so silly. I think it's the J50, I think. I think that's what it's called. I forgot his name wrong, but I deeply apologise. But who's going to come fourth and who's going to come fifth? Let's have a look. I think in fourth place 
It is the J50. Although it is quite close. So we'll just, just park it there. There you go, lovely. Well, that's the slowest stop in Trade Simulator history. There we go. Fourth place, the J50. Fifth place is the 3F Ginty. I was kind of hoping for Ginty to do quite well, but... I guess that's just not the case. Well, I think that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy this strength challenge. If you guys like the strength challenges, then, you know, click that like button. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more strength challenges like this, because I think this was a good one. I mean, you know, for a starter, I, I, I think it's a good one. They all had the same amount of trucks. They all had the same weight. It was all... They, they were pulling e equal loads, so, you know, it's all about their programming and what kind of engine it is, I suppose. But, um, I, I did enjoy this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. L links. I can't say link. It links. Uh, subscribe to my second YouTube channel. I am going to try and upload on that channel again, hopefully very soon. Um, but I, I'll have to wait and see. But until then, my friends, have a good day, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye for now. Goodbye. Farewell. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. This is that I'm not doing that again. This is this is just weird. Ugh. Is it lunchtime yet? <laughs>